Graduate makes me laugh every single time. It's one of the with the great comedies. The smell of popcorn's great though, isn't it guys? It smells like the movies. My version of Hitler is not really a dictator in my movie. He's just like a lonely imaginary friend who, um, I guess he's just a dude who looks like Hitler. So I wouldn't say he is a dictator, but if he was a dictator, I'd say that he's the best one. I mean, Hitler's probably the best one to put into movies because he's so recognizable. I really loved um, Inglorious Bastards when um, Hitler gets um, shot to death with a machine gun and then burned in the, in the cinema. I loved that moment. Still my favourite movie is my second film, Boy, but this one is the one that I'm most proud of because it's managed to touch audiences in, you know, in, in, a, in a way that I had only dreamed of to really affect people. And, and also a lot of young people are seeing the film and being um, very much um, affected by it and, and hopefully learning to think for themselves as the main character ends up doing. E.T. always makes me cry. Up always makes me cry. I love that movie. And obviously Terminator 4. That's like watching on Golden Pond or Beaches. Or what's that classic one back in the day? Like, like Beaches and on Golden Pond. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. Here it comes. What? Judge <laughs> Rabbit. Not Judge a Rabbit. That never makes me cry. You know why? Because I've seen it 200 times. I know what's going to happen. Maybe The Wiz, a Motown produced film, which was a version of Wizard of Oz, with Michael Jackson in it, Diana Ross, all of the artists are from Motown in a big musical version of Wizard of Oz. And it was horrifically scary for me as a kid. And I'll always carry that with me. People keep saying things are gonna change, but they look just like they're staying the same. Oh, the last movie I saw was. Um, Missing Link, the uh, animation, and it's great. It's really good. Graduate. Graduate makes me laugh every single time. Also, Breaking the Waves. It's one of the with the great comedies. <laughs> Coppola's Dracula. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's a beautiful love story. Everyone in the film is fantastic. The production design and the special effects and everything, by like many of those um, were done in camera. If there any CGI, I don't know if there was, but it wasn't hard, there was hardly any. There was lots of silhouettes and puppetry and animatronics and that stuff to me is like really special. I've always loved Batman, but I don't know which one. I mean, I've always loved Michael Keaton as Batman. I just loved him in that. Clash of the Titans in the 80s, I wouldn't be classified as superhero, you know, mythological heroes. It had uh, stop motion animation in it as well, and it was, I think, like 1982 or something like that. That film I loved. I think Master and Commander. It's an historical drama, and I think it's uh, really well done. Anything with Russell Crowe in it, I'm, you know, I'm all about. No, I'm proud of all of my films because I think they're all really good. I'll classify commercials as um, as a type of a film. So I've made one or two commercials that I didn't really think turned out as well as they could have. I'm not going to say what, what the brand was. One was a restaurant. You find it. Two coffees. Shit.